Hey guys, this is Edward's Hobbies, and today we're going to be hunting a box of pennies. Got a box of pennies at the bank. Check the owners. They actually have one week's hunt for this hunt. Reverse facing, so we don't know the date. Got a wheat sun under. That's pretty cool. Um, thought I'd show this. I ordered something on eBay the other day, and this was on the package. I don't think it was the postage that was like paying it, but it because it's 18 cents and that's way less. But maybe it was the time of the space shuttle, because I just thought it looked really cool. It's got the space shuttle on it. I think that's the Hubble telescope it's deploying. It was used, so I just pulled it off and I didn't know what else to put it in. But I don't usually collect stamps, but it's cool. I'll keep it. I'll keep anything that's pretty cool, that I think find cool. So yeah, that was just something. I'll be hunting for old scents, wheat scents, pears and varieties. Be scoping for them. I really would like to get an Indian head scent, but I don't know. I'll start hunting and bring you in on the first find. Roll one, didn't see it at first, but we're gonna have a Canadian. 1972, first find of the box. Roll two, just laid it out. And this was almost an under, but we're gonna have a Canadian. Right there. 1986, two Canadians and two rolls. Roll five, we're gonna have our first sweet scent. Pretty corroded, but 1944 Philadelphia, first wheat scent in the box. We're on roll six now, and I always check the 1972's Phillies for the DDO's, and I put this one under the scope. It's not a DDO, but I put it up here. It's like this weird little dot just by D. I don't know, it's definitely metal on the coin, so I don't know what would have made that. But yeah. Just, I'll definitely pull that out. It's a pretty interesting find, and it's in good shape. Kind of weird error, I guess. I'll keep hunting. Roll seven, and we're gonna have two wheat scents. Laid it out. This one looks like it could be a little older, so I'll save that one for a second. Here's the first one. 1951 Philly. Second wheat scent of the box. And this one looks like it could be older, maybe just the 40s though. Yeah, just a 1945. Still, two wheat cents in that roll. Three now for the box. Roll 10. Right at the end here. Didn't see it, but actually you've got a pretty nice reverse on there. 1944, and it's got some red. Too bad it's got a little bit of corrosion or stuff down there, but that's a nice wheat scent. I'll definitely upgraded my album. Roll 11. We're gonna get another wheat scent. Um, right here. Got a 1952S. And you don't see S mint marks from the early 50s too often. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's actually the newest of the box, which is kind of cool because we got six wheat scents so far. Or five one wheat scents so far. Same roll as that 52S. We're gonna get a Canadian here. 1999, third Canadian of the box, and newest of the box. Roll 14, we're gonna have another Canadian. Get it out, 2001, from Canada. Roll 15, we're gonna have another wheat scent, right near the back of the roll. 1944S, another San Francisco wheat scent, it's one to find. And then I'll show you this. I found this a couple of rolls ago, but didn't show it. Look at this 1972D. That's like by far the nicest copper scent I have ever found. Probably not worth anything, but just insanely nice penny. I'll keep hunting. Roll 16. Made it out. Have another wheat scent. 1955 Denver. Newest wheat scent in the box. Roll 17, very next roll. And get yet another wheat scent. 1956 Denver. Got a few wheat scents in the last few rolls. That's exciting. Roll 21. Got another wheat scent. 1944, Philadelphia. Roll 24. And we're gonna have another wheat scent. 
made it out. It's not right there. Oh, it's one from the 30s, 1939. It's not in too bad a condition either. What it said from the 50s from the back. So yeah, new oldest of the box, 1939 wheat scent. And in pretty decent shape. I'll keep hunting. Roll 28. We're gonna have another Canadian. A few from the end of the roll here. 1968. New oldest Canadian in the box, and now we've got five of them. Roll 31. And so we just take it out and we definitely have a Canadian here. Yep, 1984 Canadian. Six Canadian in the box. Roll 32 now. We're now getting another Canadian. Oh, that one's 1960. So that's a young head, and that's not in terrible shape for a young head. Yeah, that's probably better than I find most of them. Probably upgrade my album. Yeah, we got a lot of Canadians in the last couple of rolls. Hopefully we get something great before the end of the box. Same roll with that Canadian. I didn't see it at first, but we're going to have a kind of nice beat scent. 1952 Denver, and there's a tiny bit of red on there. Probably upgrade my album because it's just a little bit nicer. So we found three slightly nicer beat scents so far. It's kind of fun. I've only gotten 10 weed cents so, so far, but three nice ones kind of makes up for it. Roll 36. I get yet another Canadian. Right here, 1991. That's now the eighth Canadian in the box. Roll 38. Right now another weed cent. Right here. 1951 Denver. We're on roll 39, and we're gonna have a pretty interesting foreign. So this year, I didn't see it up in the roll because it was kind of corroded stuff. But I think that says Bermuda, and it's got the queen on the back, in the front. Yeah, one cent with the pig on it. I've seen these before. I don't think I have one. And I also just found that uh, foreign or that coin from Ecuador in my. In another penny hunt, and just in my last nickel box, I found that one peseta from Spain. So I've got some cool foreigns recently. Really happy to find that. Might be able to get some of that stuff up there. But yeah, I'll keep hunting. Definitely makes the box a little bit more interesting. Roll 45. Almost an ender once again, but we have another Canadian. Canadian there. 1983, another Canadian. Hopefully it keeps up, but it's slowed down a lot, so maybe we'll get a couple more before the end of the box. We're on roll 46, and I just saw this coin, and this is pretty cool. Look at this 1937 wheat scent. That's super nice condition. You find them like that in the late 50s, sometimes the 40s, not in the 30s. That's a really nice sweet scent. And it's the oldest of the box so far. Really happy to find that. Definitely will upgrade my album. I don't think it's really worth anything more, but I'll double check and see. Also, I found this. There's a chance it's an unplated zinc planchet from 1985 as you can see there but it's pretty beat up it's, it's kind of bent i think but i'll pull it out as a side find and hopefully the box gives out a couple more finds like that so that was pretty cool roll 47. it kind of fell apart but we're gonna have another wheat scent right near the back here 1954 denver Roll 49, second last roll. And we're gonna have a Canadian and a wheat scent, and the wheat scent looks kinda old, so I'll save that for a second. Canadian's a 1979. Uh, that's, I don't know, 10th or 11th Canadian. And this wheat scent looks pretty old, so hoping it is. Could also just be the 40s. 1929. Pretty sure I have it, but. So good to find a weed scent from the 20s. I rarely find them that old. 
So yeah, two finds in that roll and new oldest wheat scent of the box. So maybe it's heating up right at the end. So that's all of that penny box. But this is the last roll, the wheat scent under. Started opening it a month ago, shooting it live. So then I'm gonna do that. I can get this side started, which I almost have. There we go. So then here's that wheat sun ender. We're gonna death down there, but that's okay. 1952 Denver. Pretty cool. Let's go quickly looking for wheat scents. Anything else? No, I don't think so. I think that's it. So I'll organize the finds and bring you a wrap up. So overall, I'd say that was a pretty good penny box. Over the 2009s, estimates and the 59s. And then we got 10 Canadians. One was a young head in 1960. Young head in not too bad of shape. And we got 15 wheat cents. Uh, the oldest being in 1929 here. Pretty cool. I don't need it for my album. Then we got this 37 in really nice shape. We also got this 44 that's pretty nice and a little bit nicer, 52. So some nicer scents. Then we got, here was that 72 with like the extra dot by uh, God there. I'll put it under the scope again, just so you can see that right there. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I'm gonna hold on to it. And then here's that possible unplated zinc planchet. I'll hold on to that. I was like, just really stupidly nice, 1972D. And that Bermuda penny from 2001. Pretty cool to get a foreign like that, and also like the older scents. So yeah, pretty good box. So like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.